Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. How many passwords do you have? If you're like me, you've got dozens, well, actually maybe even hundreds of passwords. A different one for every website, a different one for every service that you've got. What's that? Oh, you just use one password for everything? Mm, that's not a good idea. Let me tell you why and let me tell you how you can easily use different passwords for everything without forgetting them all. Okay, so here's why it's a bad idea to use the same password everywhere or even in more place than one. Say you have the same password for maybe your mail account, maybe your Amazon account, and maybe a bunch of other things, including maybe some small website that you just signed up for to get a newsletter from or something. Can you really trust that small website or maybe some other service? Maybe somebody will actually get your password from there and then guess that, hmm, I wonder if this person uses their same email address and that same password for Amazon. They can log into your account and start ordering stuff. Maybe they actually look at your email address and say, hmm, let me go ahead and see if I can log on to their email account using that same password. Maybe it's not even that site's fault. Maybe that site's been hacked and all the passwords have been stolen. But if you have just one password for every different account, well, then you have to worry about it. Somebody gets a password for that small website and all they can do is access your account at that small website. Everything else you've got is secure. Now it's easier than ever now to have different passwords for every site you go to. That's because your browser will usually remember what password goes with which site. It'll do this in the keychain if you're using Safari. So what happens is that you go to the website, it instantly fills in your ID and password, and you can log on to that account with that special ID and password without having to remember it. Now if you look at your keychain application, you can see a list of passwords that you use when logging to different websites. So for instance, in this website, we can see here that it's got a password, it's a demo account, and we can actually show the password. So if we forget what the password is and need to use it on another computer, we click there, and what we get is a prompt into our keychain password. Allow it, and there you go. There's the password for this example. Now while keychain is a great place to store some of these passwords, it may also want to put them in another location. Now you don't want to just create a text file and stick all these passwords in there, because what if somebody gets a hold of your computer and gets all these passwords? Instead, you want to use a piece of shareware that saves the passwords in an encrypted format. Let's take a look at a few of those. The one I use is called Password Retriever, and it's from Coingo Software. Now, this is a great little utility because it allows you to save all your passwords and other stuff. So I can go ahead and put things like uh, credit card information or maybe the uh, code to my safe, that type of thing. You store it in here, and it's encrypted. It's encrypted so that when somebody looks at your hard drive, all they can find is a file that's useless to them unless they know the secure password to get into it. Now there are a lot of other apps out there and everybody's got their favorite. If you go to the Apple download section at apple.com you can search for password and come up with tons of different applications that'll do just this. So go ahead and take a look through them and maybe there's one from your favorite software vendor. Another great thing about storing all your passwords and other secure information inside of some sort of encryption file is it's easy to back up. You can back it up using Time Machine. You can also save a copy of it and put it onto a CD or something and put it inside your safe. And then you know that all you need to do is know that master password and also have that piece of software and you can unlock it. So you can put all sorts of sensitive information like your driver's license number, passport number, social security number, the numbers for your credit cards, that sort of thing, all in one place. Know where you can get to it very easily and very quickly. Of course, you want to make sure that master password is the most secure password of all. It should be completely random numbers and letters with upper and lower case letters. Something that nobody could possibly guess. So the three secrets for secure passwords are, one, use a different password for every service. Two, make that a completely secure password by being completely random. A lot of these utilities actually have a little button that will generate a random password for you. Use that. And number three, store them in a secure place like using one of these shareware applications. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.